It's no secret that being a parent is a tough job. Raising children to be responsible and confident humans is the goal, but letting go so they can fly solo is not easy. And a new book, Wings Not Strings, uh, Parenting Strategies to Let Go with Confidence, has solutions to help both the parent and the child, because we all need help, right? Both yes. of them. And authors Arlen Lawrence and Dennis Tratine are here to help. So okay. thank you both so much for coming in. So glad to be here. I've Thanks already been us. spilling everything. I have a two and five year old <laughs> set me up for success. And what, what made you guys write this book? You bet. Well, in our parenting conferences, mm -hmm. uh, when we're speaking, there is one question that comes up guaranteed every time okay. from parents. When and how do I let go? Yeah. Now translated, the when means we haven't started yet, yeah. <laughs> and the how means it's a plea for help. Yeah. So Arlen and I decided to collaborate on a follow-up book from our parenting for the launch book uh -huh. that it does a deeper dive on this letting go process of how do we get our kids and ourselves mm -hmm. ready for that launch. And you have two separate families, just so everyone yes, knows. You, right. you don't yes. have a family together. You have two yes, separate families. That's right. You're not married. You have a different parenting together. styles. That's right. Right? So mm -hmm. it's interesting that you write a book together because it probably covers a lot for everybody. Exactly. And, and Arlen, tell me more mm -hmm. about this book. What, like, what made you think that this was the time to do it? Like, well, how has parenting changed? It's, well, first of all, when I was a child, I don't know about how when you were a child, but parents tended to be less involved than mm -hmm. they are now. And it's kind of counterintuitive. You think, oh, the more involved I am, right, the better the outcome. Yeah. But, but what has emerged really is a culture of hyper-involvement in our kids' lives. Mm -hmm. um, I would say, Mom, I'm gone, and I'd be gone for hours, and they vaguely knew where I was. Right. Now, obviously, our, our culture has changed, um, but the strings that we have seen being attached to kids because of over-involved parenting is producing outcomes that are affecting them the rest of their life. So wings, not strings, mm -hmm. is we want to raise our kids to soar, yeah. not put strings on them that are going to tie them down. Well, and I will say in my own childhood, I've, I've always been really thankful that my parents let my sister and I figure our stuff out mm -hmm, together. Exactly. Because it, as adults, we were able to figure out our, our That's issues. That's the point because right there. you never stop having issues with a sibling. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter, or any family member, it's a matter of how you deal with them. So let's talk about some of these yeah. solutions. Yeah. To, to give parents and kids both confidence. We're covering everybody in this book, that's right? right? That's yeah. right. Yeah. And, so, and that's one of the things that's different from our book is okay. it really focuses a lot about the parents and the parents' own philosophy. Mm -hmm. um, Wings Not Strings is actually the chapter title of the first chapter in our first book, Parenting for the Launch. Okay. And it resonated so much with people, we knew we needed to do a deeper dive into the philosophies of, um, of an empowering philo of parenting. Mm -hmm. um, so specifically, the, the parenting philosophies that we address, one is a helicopter parent, yep. you know, that, that, that boss that's yep. always there. Over, the over micromanager. Your shoulder. Micromanager, yeah. exactly. That's the exact word, the micromanager. Yeah. Um, performance parenting, which is really where the parent is very tied up in how the child does, achieves, um, really takes their identity from how the, the child looks, how the child performs how the child achieves. And how can you mm -hmm. self-identify if you're doing these things? Because I think a lot of times you're helicopter parenting and you probably don't even realize it, right? Because it feels helpful. That's why. It, okay. it, it feels helpful. Um, you can start to see the signs of fear of failure. Um, children who um, are less resilient, mm -hmm. sometimes an ent entitlement mentality because mm -hmm. they're so used to having things done. So a lot of times the fruit will start to show up if, if you can have the humility and the self-awareness to recognize it. Okay, and what, if you start to see these signs, let's say you, know, you do feel like your child is entitled, how do you walk that back? How do you fix what, what you guys are doing and how your relationship is? You bet. Well, one of the things that we did in, in Wings Not Strings is to bring about parenting self-awareness mm -hmm. so that if we see certain attitudes or uh, character qualities in our kids that we can ask ourselves the question, are we you know, unintentionally mm -hmm. contributing to that? Mm -hmm. And if we can, we can reel them back. So for example, if okay. you have uh, children who are struggling with a work ethic, generally speaking, that means they're not doing many chores around the home, Yeah. right? And we, we feel that the home and the family, it's one team, one dream. We are all there to play that part. So if you start seeing signs, whether it's of entitlement mm -hmm. or whether it's a lacking work ethic, then you can start asking yourself, what can I be doing to introduce new things to them that will build these leadership skills that they're gonna need in life? 
And you guys have a, a real empower, empowering philosophy. It's yes. not what are you doing wrong, it's, it's how can you do it better? Yes. Right? Very well, much so. To jump off what Dennis just said, when you start to see these things, the typical response is to control or to manipulate mm -hmm. or to try and get your kids to behave in a, in a different right. way. To force. And what yes. we're trying to encourage is, no, let's, yes, we need to do that, but we also need to look at ourselves and saying, what are we doing as parents that may be contributing to these things? Oh, interesting. So an empowering philosophy is, um, being self-aware of who your child is, who they were designed to be, how do how do I interact with them? What are some of our communication styles? Um, and do I have the patience to wait until my child till we till a relation? We talk about a relationship bucket. Is mm -hmm. my relationship bucket good? Do I have a platform to speak into their life instead of just barging in and becoming critical? Mm -hmm. um, can I? assess our, our, our relationship and wait till the right time so that in that place the focus is on me not always on manipulating my child to behave the way I want them to and so when people pick up your book what is the one thing that you hope that they the first thing that you hope they take away from it well the first thing is parenting is a long-term proposition so we want um, parents to be thinking long term during the teen years there's a lot going on mm -hmm. changes pressures things like this and we can get so caught in the moment and focus on a lot of the minutia so we we like to think about the importance of staying long term and teaching for independence. That's great. Right? Mm -hmm. Our goal as a parent is again releasing that eagle to soar. Dropping them out they of the nest. They have to be ready. Get out of the nest. Get out of here. They it's have a to good fly thing. to their yes. destination. Yes. They have to be able to deal with you know all the turbulence that's going to be coming their way. Yeah. And we are there as their chief encouragers. We have to move from being control oriented. And, and move toward more of a coaching, encouraging style. That's a great exactly. way to put and it. it, it just Thank you guys so much for sharing this and for your book out there, Wings Not Strings. And when we come back,